James Hilder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. Quite fortunate enough to be joined by the IBF World Champion Kel Brook, head of his third defence against Mr Kevin Bizier. Firstly, how are you Kel? Yeah, I'm fantastic, fantastic. You know, it's Tuesday, a few days to go. Uh, I'm excited, I'm happy. Ten months it's been and I uh, can't wait to perform now. No fault of your own, this probably wouldn't be the cho choice, first fight of choice given the division, but with the IBF and the Mandarin situation, you're forced, your, highs your hands are sort of tired to face these fights. Can you still mentally get up get up for defending your belt against Busy Kill? You know, you know, of course, I, of course I can. You know, I'm very competitive. I know that he's trained to, you know, try and take, take this off me. And, uh, you know, I've done, I've done everything in training, what I'm supposed to do, I've trained very hard. I've sparred the, probably the more round, most rounds I've ever, I've ever done for, for a fight. So believe you and me, you know, you'll see Saturday night, you know, I already am and how much, you know, uh, I can, I, how much work I've done in the gym. Mentally, you've got to stay very disciplined, I suppose, not to overlook someone like Bizier, because he's obviously trained his heart out to get here and get this shot in the Mandarin situation. So you have to be really focused on Saturday, I'll take it, Kel. You know, I've, I've, I've seen it, you know, I started when I was 18 and I've seen, I've seen it from, you know, from from uh, friends, you know, lose fights from overlooking their opponents. And I've always said to myself, you know, that'll never happen. You know, so I've, you know, just busy as on my mind. You know, I'm looking past him, uh, and uh, then big fights will come after I've dealt with him. But you know, he's 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 the man in front of me, so I've got to take care of him. And believe believe you me, I'm gonna do that. Here when you addressed the crowd today, you were sort of adamant that you could even stand and tear it up with Bizier to satisfy your sort of your home crowd and your fans and stuff. Is that something you've generally thought about? Yeah, you know, if you know the, these, you know, these fans that you know the hard-earned money, you know, they come out and support me. You know, I want to give them a real fight. You know, without them, you know, I, w I won't be here today. I won't be in the position I'm in. You know, so the fans make you, and uh, I want to keep them smiling, and I want them to go away and think, you know what, that were a great night, you know, tonight. You know, he, he stood there, he had a tear up, you know, he, and and that's what I want to give him. I don't, I don't, I don't want to give him just a one-sided or you know, a boring kind of fight. I want, I want to give them excitement, and uh, you know, even if on my on my behalf, I'm bring, I'm definitely bringing the fireworks, the matches, to light them. You know, and it's down to busy if he comes and you know stands and wants a bit of that, them fireworks. You know, to to excite the, you know the, the crowd. Do you think you've got to make a real statement and sort of take busy out in style if you like? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we've seen Firm and Porter rescheduled. It was meant to take place last week. What are your sort of thoughts on that? Having shared a ring with Porter and beat him to take his IBF title, if you like. I'm very excited. I mean, anticipating you know the result. You know, it's going to be. It's going, to, it's going to be a great fight, it's going to be a great fight and uh, you know they're in my division fighting for an, another world title so I'm, I'm going to be watching them and uh, I'm going to be wanting the winner. Obviously I've got to talk to you a little bit about Amir Khan Canelo, I haven't spoke to you since that fight's been announced, what was your initial reaction when, when that news broke? Initial reaction where he's going to get, you know, he's going to get beat up real bad, um, you know, but as the fight has grown, you know, I can see if, 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 if I can see the speed factor, you know, and, it, and looking into it in more detail, you know, Canelo has been beat by a mover, but, you know, by Mayweather, but Khan's no Mayweather, you know, and I think it's just a matter of time before he gets involved, which he, which he loves to do, he stays there a bit too long, you know, <clears throat> it's, just, it's just in him. So, but I, I, believe, I believe that you know he could if, if, he, if he listened properly and did exactly um, what he's supposed to do. He could end he could end up uh, nicking the fight, believe it or not. But I, I really don't believe that'll happen. I think that Canelo will catch up with him. Take out Bizier, one eye on these massive fights. We spoke about this before. Your second mandatory now. Surely getting sick of the mandatory sort of thing, aren't you? What you've got to do, you know, the IBF is strict. You know the. They're very, very strict, and when the managers come round, you've, you've got to fight them. You know, give the title up, and I'm not going to give them no title up. What I've trained, you know, I've done from nine-year-old training. I'm not give no title up to get to the position I'm in. So I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do and, and deal with the managers. What will be going through your mind when you hear all the lights on Saturday when you're back in the arena and your, your tune comes on? What goes through your mind at that point? I just, I just know that I'm ready. I just know that I'm ready to, to perform. And I'm, I'm wanting to, I'm wanting, I'm wanting to hear everything you just said. You know the, the goosebumps. You know the, all of the lights, the crowd roaring. You know walking closer to the ring, and then getting in and 
doing what I, doing what I do. Last but not least, message to everyone that spend their hard-earned cash travelling not just Sheffield, around the country to come and see you in action on Saturday. Have you a message for all them fans? You know, it's, it's going to be absolutely a, a great show. You know, a match room. You know, every show they're putting on is getting better. There's like this music between rounds if you want a little dance. Yes. You know, the the, the, the card, you know, there's some 50-50 some match-up. You know, I might be off having to, you know, really entertain the fans and, you know, I'm, I'm coming to fight. You know, so you're going to come, you're going to come out and see World Championship Boxing in Sheffield, you know, and uh, what a night it is. Listen, Kel Brook, we'll catch you up during the week. Thank you ever so much for talking to us. It's great to get you back on the channel, sir, and we'll see you during the week. Thank you. Cheers, champ. Ladies.